in the mid-1960s, a groundbreaking television series named Batman emerged, capturing audiences with its unique blend of campy comedy and superhero action. The show starred Burt Ward as Robin and Adam West as the Cape Crusader, Batman. With its vibrant colors and 1960s pop art aesthetic, the series became an iconic representation of the era. The chemistry between West and Ward, combined with the show's sitcom-like mood, made Batman a beloved classic that continues to resonate today. This classic series not only showcased the adventures of the dynamic duo, but also served as a testament to the power of humor and creativity in storytelling. Step into the world of the 60s and rediscover this captivating tale. The Batman TV series, which debuted in 1966, is still remembered for its unique visual style. The show's settings were brightly colored, with vivid hues that made the characters and action stand out. This was a deliberate choice, as the creators wanted to appeal to a wide audience, including young viewers. The use of vibrant colors also helped to highlight the show's fantastical elements, such as the outlandish costumes worn by the villains. Speaking of villains, Batman featured some of the biggest stars of the day in these roles. These included actors like Burgess Meredith, Cesar Romero, and Julie Newmar, who brought a larger-than-life quality to their performances. The show's campy tone and over-the-top acting style were a big part of its appeal and helped to create a sense of fun and excitement that was unique to this series. Despite its initial success, Batman was ultimately canceled in 1969 after three seasons. The show's ratings had declined, and ABC decided to pull the plug. However, the impact of Batman was still felt long after its cancellation. The show had exposed viewers to bizarre characters and situations that were unlike anything else on television at the time. It had also helped to cement the popularity of the Batman character, which had been around since the 1930s, but had never quite achieved the same level of cultural significance as it did after the Batman TV series. Today, Batman is recognized as one of the most unusual TV series of its period. Its visual style, campy tone, and memorable characters have all contributed to its enduring popularity. The show may have only lasted for three seasons, but its impact can still be felt in popular culture today. In 2016, fans of the classic 1966 TV series Batman were treated to a special anniversary surprise. Adam West, Burt Ward, and Julie Newmar reprised their iconic roles as Batman, Robin, and Catwoman in an animated film, Batman Return of the Cape Crusaders. The film brought the charm and humor of the original series to life, capturing the hearts of both old and new fans. The following year, the excitement continued with the release of Batman vs. Two-Face. This animated feature saw the return of William Shatner as Harvey Dent, adding a new layer of nostalgia to the mix. The film explored the complex relationship between Batman and his arch nemesis, Two-Face, providing a thrilling and engaging storyline. The enduring legacy of Batman continues to resonate with audiences, and the recent animated films have allowed a new generation to experience the classic series in a fresh and exciting way. These continuations of the beloved show have marked a significant moment in the annals of television history, allowing fans to step back into the world of the Cape Crusader and his trusty sidekick, Robin. Lee Merriweather, the actress who brought Catwoman to life in the 1966 Batman series, reprised her role in a different capacity years later. In the film Batman vs. Two-Face, she lent her voice to Lucille Diamond. Meanwhile, Burt Ward, who played Robin in the classic series, is the only regular cast member still alive today. The talented actors who made up the rest of the Batman cast have since passed away. Adam West, who famously played Batman, died in 2017. Alan Napier, who portrayed Alfred, the butler, passed away in 1988. Neil Hamilton, who played Commissioner Gordon, died in 1984. Stafford Rep, who played Chief O'Hara, passed away in 1974. Madge Blake, who played Aunt Harriet, died in 1969. And Yvonne Craig, who played Batgirl, died in 2015. Each of these actors left their mark on the world of television and film, and their contributions to this classic series will always be cherished. Although they are no longer with us, their performances continue to captivate audiences and resonate through the annals of television history. In 1966, the iconic TV series Batman premiered, 
capturing audiences with its unique blend of action, comedy, and camp. The show featured Adam West as the Cape Crusader, a role that would become synonymous with the actor. West's portrayal of Batman was both heroic and humorous, making the character accessible to a wide audience. Tragically, Adam West passed away on June 9, 2017, at the age of 88 after a battle with leukemia. His legacy as Batman lives on. However, through the show's syndication on networks such as Medivh, Gift, and Telexidos. These channels keep the classic series alive for new generations to discover and enjoy. The Batman franchise has also expanded to include several films and TV episodes since the original program. These adaptations have explored different aspects of the Batman mythos, from the dark and gritty tone of the Christopher Nolan trilogy to the lighthearted fun of the 1966 series. Through it all, Adam West's portrayal of Batman remains a beloved and enduring part of pop culture. His performance resonates with fans of all ages, and his legacy as the Cape Crusader will continue to captivate audiences for years to come. The original Batman TV show, which first aired in 1966, continues to hold a special place in people's hearts five decades later. The series, with its unique blend of action, comedy, and camp, has left an indelible mark on popular culture. While all the characters in the show were well received, one character, in particular, gained unprecedented popularity, the Riddler, played by Frank Gorshin. Gorshin's portrayal of the Riddler was a masterclass in physical comedy and acting. His manic energy, distinctive laugh, and the ability to contort his face into a myriad of expressions made the character unforgettable. The Riddler, who was previously a second-string villain in the DC Comics, was brought to the forefront because of Gorshin's performance. The Riddler's popularity skyrocketed, and he became one of Batman's most formidable foes. Gorshin's interpretation of the character was so influential that it became the template for future portrayals of the Riddler in other media. His performance was a significant contribution to the Batman franchise and comic book adaptations in general. Frank Gorshin's Riddler was a perfect example of how an actor could elevate a character's prominence. The Riddler, with his green suit, bowler hat, and cane, became as iconic as Batman and Robin's costumes. Gorshin's performance resonated with audiences, and his portrayal of the Riddler remains one of the most memorable aspects of this classic TV show. Even today, the Riddler continues to be a popular character in the DC Comics universe, a testament to Gorshin's enduring impact. In the 1966 TV series Batman, the character of Mr. Freeze, also known as Mr. Zero, made his appearance. Originally introduced as Mr. Zero, the name was later changed to Mr. Freeze for the show. This villain was known for his ability to freeze objects and people, creating a chilling effect that added to the suspense of the series. The map of Gotham City in the show was not just any fictional city layout. It was, in fact, a mirror image of St. Louis, Missouri. This detail added a touch of reality to the show, making it easier for viewers to imagine the events taking place in a city they were familiar with. One of the most iconic elements of the show was the Shakespeare bust that concealed the button. When pressed, it illuminated a lamp backstage, signaling the opening of the Batcave door. This hidden mechanism added an element of surprise and excitement to the show, making it a classic that resonated with audiences. The use of the Shakespeare bust as a signal was not only clever, but also fitting for the show's setting. The bust added a touch of sophistication and class to the Batcave, reflecting the high standards that Batman set for himself and his mission. In conclusion, the 1966 TV series Batman was a captivating show that featured memorable characters, a realistic city map, and clever hidden mechanisms. The use of the Shakespeare bust as a signal to open the Batcave door was just one of the many intriguing elements that made this show a classic that continues to be cherished by audiences today. In the 1966 TV series Batman, Burt Ward, who played Robin, performed his own stunts. This led to some injuries, but it didn't stop him from bringing action and excitement to the show. Ward's dedication to his role is just one of the reasons why this classic series remains popular today. The 1992 animated series Batman, the animated series paid tribute to the 1966 show with an episode called Beware the Grey Ghost. This episode featured a character who was a nod to the original Batman, played by Adam West. 
The Grey Ghost was a retired superhero who helped Batman solve a case, bringing the legacy of the 1966 series full circle. The Batcave, the secret headquarters of Batman and Robin, was not just a set for the 1966 series. It also housed famous Hollywood sets, such as the gates from the classic film King Kong and the city of Atlanta from Gone with the Wind. These sets added an extra layer of depth and detail to the Batcave, making it a truly iconic location in television history. In conclusion, the 1966 Batman series was more than just a superhero show. It was a cultural phenomenon that featured daring stunts, memorable characters, and impressive sets. From Burt Ward's stunts to the Batcave's famous Hollywood connections, this classic series continues to resonate with audiences today. In 1966, the Batman TV series was surrounded by an intriguing rumor. Producers had reportedly approached Senator Robert F. Kennedy with the idea of him making a guest appearance. Although this never came to fruition, the fact that such a high-profile political figure was considered for the show goes to show the impact and popularity of this classic series. The Batman series also made history by featuring the first live-action comic book crossover. The Green Hornet, another popular character from the world of comics, made an appearance in the show. This was a groundbreaking move, paving the way for future crossovers in various media. Adding to the star-studded lineup, Leslie Gore, a renowned singer and actress, played a significant role in the series. She portrayed one of Catwoman's henchwomen and even shared a romantic connection with Robin. This was a unique twist, adding a layer of complexity to the characters and their relationships. In conclusion, the 1966 Batman series was not just a TV show, it was a cultural phenomenon. Whether it was the rumored involvement of Senator Robert F. Kennedy, the groundbreaking crossover with the Green Hornet, or the memorable performance by Leslie Gore, this classic series continues to resonate with audiences today. In the 1966 TV series Batman, the character of the Penguin, played by Burgess Meredith, is known for his distinctive waddle. Thus, peculiar walk was actually a result of the constraints imposed by his fat suit, which was a part of the Penguin's iconic costume. Meredith had to adapt his movements to fit the suit, leading to the memorable waddle that became a trademark of his portrayal of the character. Another notable actor in the series was Cesar Romero, who played the Joker. His maniacal laugh as the Joker was so intense that it allegedly damaged his normal laugh, leaving a lasting impact on his vocal cords. Romero's performance as the Joker was a standout in the series, and his laugh remains one of the most memorable aspects of his portrayal. The Batman TV series is also known for its exaggerated visual overlays during fight scenes, such as Zap and Pow appearing on screen. These visual effects added to the show's campy and over-the-top style, making it a classic of its time. The use of such overlays was a unique aspect of the series, setting it apart from other superhero shows and movies. In conclusion, the Batman TV series featured memorable performances from its cast, including Burgess Meredith's Waddle as the Penguin and Cesar Romero's intense Joker laugh. The show's use of visual overlays during fight scenes added to its distinctive style, making it a beloved classic in the world of superhero television. In the creation of the 1966 TV series Batman, the producers had eagerly prepared numerous Penguin scripts, keeping them at the ready to accommodate the schedule of the talented Burgess Meredith, who portrayed the iconic villain. Meredith's availability was crucial in planning the show's episodes, as the creative team wanted to ensure they could feature the Penguin in the most engaging and entertaining ways possible. While the series became renowned for its memorable cast of characters, and the remarkable performances that brought them to life. There were several missed opportunities regarding potential guest stars. Big names such as Frank Sinatra, Cary Grant, and Natalie Wood expressed their interest in appearing on the show, but unfortunately, their appearances never came to fruition. It's fascinating to imagine the impact these accomplished actors could have had on the series, potentially leaving their own indelible marks on the rich tapestry of this classic television show. The addition of such esteemed talents would have undoubtedly contributed to the enduring appeal and captivating allure that Batman continues to resonate with today. The world of entertainment is filled with what-ifs and missed opportunities, and the 1966 Batman TV series is no exception. Yet, even without these potential guest stars, the show remains a testament to the power of engaging storytelling, memorable characters, 
and the unforgettable performances that continue to captivate audiences to this day. The legacy of Batman lives on, its vibrant world, and intriguing characters inviting new generations to step into its enduring realm. The 1966 TV series Batman brought the Kate Crusader to life in a way never seen before, blending action, comedy, and camp in a delightful mix. Its impact was immediate and far-reaching, capturing the attention of audiences young and old. The show's unique visual style, memorable performances, and unforgettable soundtrack left an indelible mark on popular culture. The series' legacy continues to this day, with its influence evident in various forms of media. The iconic portrayal of Batman and his rogues gallery by Adam West and Burt Ward, respectively, remains a beloved interpretation among fans. The show's memorable catchphrases, such as Holy, Batman, and Same Bat Time, Same Bat Channel, have become enduring parts of the character's lexicon. Moreover, the 1966 Batman series played a crucial role in solidifying the superhero genre's popularity in television and film. By embracing the more lighthearted and adventurous aspects of the character, the show paved the way for future adaptations that explored different tones and styles. Today, this classic series remains relevant as a testament to the power of escapism and the enduring appeal of the Dark Knight. Its ability to resonate with new generations of fans speaks to the timeless nature of the character and the show's lasting impact on popular culture. The 1966 Batman series continues to inspire and entertain, reminding us of the hero within us all. The casting process for the 1966 TV series Batman was a fascinating journey. Adam West, the seasoned actor, was chosen to play Batman. He had already appeared in several TV shows and films, which made him an ideal candidate for the Cape Crusader. His deep voice and strong presence perfectly embodied the character. On the other hand, Burt Ward, a relative newcomer, was selected to play Robin. His youthful energy and athleticism won over the producers. Interestingly, Ward was the last actor to audition for the role, and his fresh approach to the character sealed the deal. The role of Batman's love interest, Catwoman, was initially offered to several high-profile actresses. However, it was eventually given to Julie Newmar, who brought a unique blend of feline grace and playful mischief to the character. The role of Batman's loyal butler, Alfred, was given to Alan Napier. With his distinguished appearance and commanding voice, Napier brought a sense of dignity and authority to the character. The casting of the villains was equally intriguing. Cesar Romero, known for his suave roles, was cast as the Joker. His flamboyant portrayal of the character became iconic. Burgess Meredith, with his distinctive voice and physicality, was a natural choice for the Penguin. The casting process also included chemistry tests to ensure that the actors would work well together. For instance, West and Ward's chemistry was evident from their first screen test. Similarly, Numar's chemistry with West added an extra layer of excitement to their cat and mouse dynamic. In conclusion, the casting of the 1966 Batman series was a careful process of selecting actors who could bring the characters to life in a unique and engaging way. Each actor's contribution left a lasting impact on the series, making it a beloved classic. The 1966 TV series Batman, directed by Robert Butler, showcased a unique and memorable approach to the classic comic book story. Butler's vision brought the Cape Crusader to life in a lively and colorful way, appealing to both children and adults. Butler's creative influences stemmed from the vibrant pop art movement of the 1960s. He aimed to capture the bold and graphic style of artists like Roy Lichtenstein and Andy Warhol in his direction. This is evident in the show's vivid set designs and the iconic POW, BAM, graphics that punctuate the action scenes. The director's style was characterized by a fast-paced, almost frenetic energy. He employed quick cuts, exaggerated facial expressions, and over-the-top physical comedy to create a heightened sense of drama and humor. This approach was a stark contrast to the more serious and gritty adaptations of Batman that would come later. Collaboration was key to bringing Butler's vision to life. He worked closely with the cast, encouraging them to embrace the series' campy tone. Adam West, who played Batman, and Burt Ward, who played Robin, were chosen for their ability to balance the series' humor and action. 
Butler also worked closely with the show's production designers, costume designers, and special effects teams to create the show's distinctive look. Despite the show's lighthearted tone, Butler never lost sight of the core values of the Batman character. The series still featured Batman's commitment to justice and his unwavering moral compass. This balance between humor and substance is a testament to Butler's skill as a director. In conclusion, Robert Butler's directorial vision for the 1966 TV series Batman was instrumental in bringing the character to life for a new generation. His unique style, influenced by pop art, and his collaborative approach resulted in a captivating and enduring series that continues to resonate with audiences today. The 1966 TV series Batman is still cherished for its unique set design and locations. The show's creators face logistical challenges, such as filming in the heart of Hollywood while maintaining the illusion of Gotham City. To create the iconic Batcave, the production team transformed a real-life basement in Hollywood. They built a labyrinth of tunnels and a high-tech bat computer, complete with glowing screens and blinking lights. The Batmobile, a custom-made vehicle with a sleek design, was also stored here. Filming on location presented its own set of challenges. To capture the essence of Gotham City, the crew often filmed in downtown Los Angeles, transforming familiar streets into a dark, mysterious urban landscape. At night, they would drape black fabric over streetlights and buildings to achieve the desired effect. One innovative technique employed during production was the use of a multi-camera rig. This setup allowed the crew to film action scenes from various angles simultaneously, saving time and resources. It also added a dynamic quality to the fight sequences, making them more engaging for viewers. Despite these advancements, the show's creators also relied on traditional techniques. For instance, they used map paintings to create the illusion of towering skyscrapers and vast cityscapes. These hand-painted backdrops were seamlessly integrated with live-action footage, enhancing the show's visual appeal. In conclusion, the production of Batman was marked by innovative techniques, logistical challenges, and a commitment to creating a captivating world for viewers to step into. Furthermore, the creation of the film score and soundtrack for the 1966 TV series Batman was a crucial element in shaping the narrative and emotional tone of the show. Composers Neil Hefty and Nelson Riddle were instrumental in crafting the iconic theme music that perfectly captured the campy, lighthearted nature of the series. Hefty's jazzy, upbeat theme became synonymous with a Cape Crusader while Riddle's dynamic orchestral arrangements added depth and excitement to key moments in the show. The music complemented the on-screen action and dialogue, enhancing the overall viewing experience for audiences. Both composers and musicians involved in the creation of the score and soundtrack understood the importance of aligning the music with the tone and style of the series, ultimately creating a memorable and enduring musical accompaniment for Batman. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1966 TV series Batman is the introduction of the character with the dramatic da 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 Batman theme song. The scene features a dramatic camera angle looking up at Batman and Robin standing on a rooftop with the bat signal shining in the background. This moment sets the tone for the entire series and has become synonymous with the character of Batman. In another memorable scene, Batman and Robin are trapped in a death trap by the villainous Joker. The dynamic duo is suspended over a pit of crocodiles with a timer counting down to their demise. The scene is filled with tension and suspense as Batman and Robin struggle to escape before time runs out. The performance in this scene is particularly noteworthy with Adam West Batman remaining calm and collected even as the situation becomes increasingly dire. West later said in an interview, I always played Batman as if he was the sanest man in the world, even when he was in the midst of total chaos. The cinematography in the series is also notable, with its use of vibrant colors and bold graphic backgrounds. Production designer Paul Sillows aimed to create a comic book come to life aesthetic, and the show's visual style has been widely praised for its creativity and innovation. The impact of these iconic scenes can still be felt today, with the 1966 TV series Batman remaining a beloved and influential piece of pop culture. The series helped to establish the character of Batman as a cultural icon, and its influence can be seen in everything from comic books to blockbuster movies. In an interview, Adam West said, 
I'm proud to have been a part of something that has brought so much joy to people over the years. The show may be campy, but it's also a lot of fun, and that's what makes it so enduring. The 1966 TV series Batman brought the Cape Crusader to life in a way that captivated audiences. Starring Adam West as Batman and Burt Ward as Robin, the show was known for its campy humor, vibrant colors, and over-the-top action sequences. It quickly became a cultural phenomenon, resonating with viewers of all ages. The series was a significant departure from previous interpretations of the character. Rather than the dark, brooding hero of later adaptations, this Batman was a pop art icon. He fought colorful villains like the Joker, the Penguin, and Catwoman with a wink and a smile. The show's tongue-in-cheek tone and memorable catchphrases made it a hit. Batman also had a significant impact on pop culture. It popularized the concept of the superhero team-up, leading to shows like Green Hornet and Wonder Woman sharing the same universe. The show's distinctive visual style influenced everything from comic books to video games. Even today, the 1966 Batman series is remembered fondly with DVD releases and streaming services keeping it alive for new generations. Beyond its entertainment value, Batman contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. The show featured a diverse cast of villains, including the first recurring African-American villain in a mainstream TV series. It also touched on issues like crime, corruption, and social justice, albeit in a lighthearted way. In conclusion, the 1966 Batman series was more than just a TV show. It was a cultural touchstone that resonated with audiences, influenced pop culture, and contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. Its impact can still be felt today, a testament to its enduring appeal. The 1966 TV series Batman received mixed reviews from critics, but was a hit with audiences. The show's campy tone and over-the-top action divided opinions. Some critics praised the series for its humor and unique take on the comic book hero, while others criticized it for being too silly and lacking substance. Notable TV critic Cleveland Amory of the Saturday Review wrote a positive review, stating, Batman is a gas, a hoot, a scream, a show so crazy, so colorful, so wacky, so corny, so exciting, so much fun. It's the kind of show you can't help but enjoy. In contrast, Jack Good of the New York Times criticized the series, writing, Batman is a peculiar and dismaying addition to the TV docket, a frankly juvenile show that seems to have been designed primarily to appeal to small fry. Despite the mixed critical reception, Batman was a massive hit with audiences. The show's unique blend of action, humor, and camp quickly captured the hearts of viewers, and it became one of the most popular shows on TV. The series also received several award nominations, including an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Children's Program. The success of Batman had a significant impact on popular culture and solidified the character's place as a cultural icon. The show's campy tone and over-the-top action influenced future adaptations of the character, and its popularity helped to pave the way for the modern superhero genre. The accolades received by Batman were a testament to the hard work and creativity of everyone involved in the show. The series writers, producers, and actors all contributed to its success, and the awards and nominations were a recognition of their efforts. The show's enduring popularity and cultural impact are a testament to the lasting legacy of Batman and its place in TV history. During the making of the 1966 TV series Batman, the set was always filled with laughter and camaraderie. Adam West, who played Batman, was known for his humor and often played practical jokes on his co-stars. In one scene, where Batman was supposed to be serious and intense, West couldn't help but crack a joke. The take had to be done multiple times due to West's uncontrollable laughter. Burt Ward, who played Robin, had a different experience. He was constantly trying to prove himself to be taken seriously as an actor. During a fight scene, Ward accidentally hit West for real causing his nose to bleed. West, being the professional he was, didn't break character and continued the scene. The dynamic duo's chemistry was undeniable, but it was the villains who truly stole the show. Cesar Romero, who played the Joker, refused to shave his mustache for the role. Instead, he covered it up with makeup, which often smudged during intense scenes. This led to many retakes and a lot of frustration for the makeup artists. The set of Batman was not just a place of work, 
but a place of creativity and innovation. The show's iconic BAM and POW graphics were created by animator Bob Kane, who used hand-drawn illustrations and animation techniques to bring the fights to life. Despite the challenges and mishaps, the cast and crew of Batman remain close-knit and dedicated to creating a memorable and entertaining show. Their hard work and dedication paid off, as the show became a cultural phenomenon and remains a beloved classic to this day. The 1966 TV series Batman holds a significant place in film history. As one of the first major adaptations of the Cape Crusader, it brought the character to life in a way that had never been seen before. The show's unique blend of action, comedy, and camp quickly captured the hearts of audiences, and its influence can still be felt today. The series is notable for its innovative use of visual effects, and its memorable portrayal of Batman and his rogues gallery. The brightly colored sets, over-the-top villains, and signature pow, and bam, sound effects all helped to create a distinct and unforgettable aesthetic. Batman also had a significant impact on future filmmaking. Its success paved the way for a wave of superhero adaptations, and its campy tone and stylized action sequences would go on to influence a generation of filmmakers. The series inspired a wide range of subsequent works, from the more serious and gritty adaptations of the 1980s and 1990s to the modern-day blockbusters of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It also had a significant impact on popular culture, with its catchphrases, music, and iconic visuals becoming deeply ingrained in the public consciousness. In short, the 1966 TV series Batman left an indelible mark on the world of film and popular culture. Its legacy continues to resonate today, inspiring new generations of fans and filmmakers alike. Do you remember the iconic 1966 TV series Batman? The show's unique blend of action, humor, and suspense left a lasting impression on audiences. We'd love to hear about your personal experiences and memories related to this groundbreaking series. How did the Cape Crusader and his trusty sidekick, Robin, impact your life? Perhaps you found inspiration in their crime-fighting adventures or were captivated by the memorable villains like the Joker and Catwoman. Share your stories with us. Tell us about the first time you watched Batman on TV. What was it like to see the dynamic duo in action with their distinctive personalities and unforgettable theme song? How did the series influence your perspective on cinema and storytelling? We're eager to learn how Batman resonated with you and other viewers. By engaging in this conversation, we can create a vibrant community of cinema enthusiasts sharing our memories and insights. To join in, simply like this post, share your story in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Together, let's celebrate the enduring legacy of the 1966 Batman series and its impact on our lives.